giving your customers the opportunity of selecting other delivery dates and time during WooCommerce checkout will increase the conversion rate for your store. Your customers are likely to become repeat buyers after a personalized shopping experience. So in this video, I will show you how to add order delivery date and time for WooCommerce. Coming up. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. With that said, let's jump into the video. So this is the website on which I want to add delivery date and time. And before we get started, let's see what we'll achieve by the end of this tutorial. So if I add enough of these products to cart, then I view the cart. I proceed to checkout. Going down, I have other type. I drop down the arrow. I can either choose delivery or pickup, depending upon what I want as a customer. So I'll go ahead and choose delivery. And I'll have fields for delivery date and delivery time. I choose my delivery date from here maybe 8th and the delivery time i choose between 2 30 pm and 3 pm then i can go ahead and place the order let's see how pickup will come up so after choosing pickup i have pickup date and pickup time i can choose my pickup dates 13th i can also go ahead and choose my pickup time in here you see that the pickup time is kind of limited which means that my pickup time starts from 8 am and ends at 5 p.m. So I can choose between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Now if I go back to the pickup date, in here you will notice that I will not be able to select 12 and 25. And the reason is that these two days were set as my holidays on which I cannot do deliveries. I will show you how we can achieve this in this tutorial. So if this is what I want, I will go ahead and place my order. Thank you, your order has been placed. And going down, in here you see the pickup dates, which is July 13, 2022, as well as the pickup time, which is between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Awesome. So, if you like what you have seen so far and want to add other delivery date and time to your WooCommerce store, let's get it done. So, to add other delivery date and time for my WooCommerce store, I need to install a plugin. And this is the plugin we are going to install delivery and pickup date time for WooCommerce. I will leave the link to this plugin in the description down below. So I can just go ahead and copy the name of the plugin. I exit out of here. Then I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new. Under search plugins, I paste in the name of the plugin. And right here is the plugin. I click on install now. Then I go ahead and activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully. Next, I click on settings under the plugin, or I can go over to the menu right here and click on Woo Delivery. Either way, they will all take me to the same place. So I click on Woo Delivery. The first settings you may want to look at is time zone settings. Before all the settings, please set your time zone first, otherwise we are using the WordPress time zone. So in here, you have the opportunity to select your own time zone. If that is not done, meaning you are going to be using the WordPress default time zone. So I drop down the arrow right here and I'm going to go ahead and choose my time zone, which is Accra. Then I go ahead and save the changes. The settings is saved successfully. Next, I go over to other settings. This is where you give your customers the opportunity to be able to choose from a delivery or pickup. So I go ahead and enable this. Take note, if this is not enabled, your customers wouldn't see the delivery or pickup option. Next is order type field label. In here, you can give your order type field a label. You can give it whatever label you want, but if you leave it as default, it will give you order type as the default label. Pointing on the question mark right here will show you what you get when you don't enter any label for your field. So the default is order type. I leave it as the default. Next is delivery option label. The default will be delivery if you don't want to enter any label in here. Next is self pickup option label. And the default will be pickup. If you want, you can type in self pickup, 
whichever way you want it. We will not be covering dynamic shipping and shipping methods in this tutorial. If you go ahead and enable this, it means that you want to see delivery or pickup option based on your WooCommerce shipping settings. And the same is applicable to shipping methods. So in here, I only want to enable delivery or pickup, then I go ahead and save the changes. Next, I go to delivery date. For your customers to be able to choose delivery date, you need to enable it from here. You can also make it a mandatory field. Next is delivery date field label. I leave it as it is and the default will be delivery date. Next is allow delivery in next available days. In here, if I enter for instance 10, what this means is that users will have only 10 days to pick from for their delivery days for a particular month. So any other days will be disabled in the calendar. If you don't enter anything here, it will use the default of 365 days, which means users can choose any day as their delivery date. So I take this off to keep the default. Next is week starts from. The default start day is Sunday. If you don't want to use Sunday, then you drop down the arrow and choose your week start day. I will choose Monday. Next is delivery date format. I drop down the arrow. From here, you can choose whatever format you want. I'll keep the default, which is kind of cool. Next is auto select first available date. If this is enabled, the first available date will be automatically selected for the customer. I leave it as it is. I want my customers to be able to choose their own available dates. Next is delivery days. In here, you can go ahead and choose the particular days on which you do deliveries. If none of these days is selected, it means that you can do deliveries from Monday to Sunday. For now, I'll leave the default. It should be noted that whatever settings you'll be performing here will depend upon your store requirements. I save the changes. Next, I go to pickup dates. In here, we have the same settings as the delivery dates. So first of all, I enable this and I make it a required field. I select my weekday. And then I leave the rest as they are and I go ahead and save the changes. Next, I go over to off days. In here, if you observe some holidays for which you cannot do delivery, you can go ahead and set the particular date in here. So first of all, you can go ahead and enter in the year. I enter 2022 and I select the month. I will select July, which is the current month. And in the next field, you enter the particular date in July, which you observe the holiday. And you can enter as many days as you want, separating them with comma. So I will just enter a random date, maybe 12, comma, 25. So entering these two days in here, it means that my customers will not be able to choose them as their delivery dates. In here, I also have the opportunity to add another month. So maybe the same year, then I can choose whichever month and set in my days. I take it off for now. You can also add a new calendar year maybe 2023 then you go ahead and set in the days i take it off you can always come in here to change the year to the current year adding the months and days where you have holidays so i go ahead and save the changes if you are finding value so far please give this video a thumbs up it does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on youtube and also benefit more people all right let's continue next is delivery time so if you want your customers to be able to choose their delivery time in here, you go ahead and enable this. And that is what I'll do. Maybe some customers may want to choose their delivery date, but they don't want to choose a specific delivery time. So in here, I'm not going to make it a mandatory field, but whatever you want to do will depend upon your store requirements. Next is time slots. What time do you start delivery? In here, you go ahead and enter in the time at which you start your delivery. For demonstration purpose, I will enter 9 and the number of minutes will be 00, zero which means 9 o'clock and it will be AM. And time slot will end at 3 and the number of minutes will be 30 and I will change from AM to PM. So what all this means is that my delivery time starts from 9 AM to 3.30 PM. Next is each time slot duration. This has to do with the number of minutes or hours at which you do deliveries. The default is set to 3 hours. With the default, it means that users have the opportunity to choose from a 3 hour range. For this tutorial, I will make it 30 minutes. 
you also have the opportunity to choose hours from here next is maximum order per time slot in here you can specify the maximum number of orders for each time slot for instance if i enter 50 in here what this means is that for every 30 minutes a maximum of 50 orders can be placed so when the maximum of 50 orders is exhausted it means that customers won't be able to place orders for the particular time slots i always want to get unlimited orders so i take this off next is delivery time format i drop down the arrow and i'm going to choose 12 hours and finally you can disable current time slot or auto select first available time i'll leave these two as default then i'll go ahead and save the changes next i go to pickup time and i'm going to go ahead and enable it my pickup time is different from my delivery time so for pickup it starts at 8 a.m and the end time is 5 p.m perfect there's no time slot for pickup i'm not setting maximum pickup per time slot next i go ahead and choose my pickup time format which is 12 hours then i go ahead and save the changes next i go to localization in here you can go ahead and set some notifications your customers will see when they try to go through any of these options in here for instance maximum delivery limit exceeds if i point on the question mark right here you see that maximum order limit notice the default is maximum order limit exceed so if you want a custom text you can go ahead and enter it in here i'm not going to do anything here i leave them as the default next i go to orders in here you have the opportunity to enable delivery field for virtual or downloadable products in my opinion i don't see why you should be enabling delivery field for downloadable products however the choice is yours you can also enter text for heading on the checkout page if you want next is position in here you can drop down the arrow and choose whichever position you want your customers to see the delivery options the default is after order notes so i leave it as it is for now so these are all the settings i want to do let's go ahead and see it in action so i go to the front end of my website i visit store i open it in a new tab i'll choose any of these products and add it to cart view the cart i proceed to checkout i already have my billing details field going down you see that i have order type so in here i drop down the arrow and i decide to use delivery or pickup let's see how delivery will come up so after choosing delivery i have the opportunity to select my delivery date as well as delivery time which is optional take note this field wasn't made a mandatory field now if i drop down the arrow right here remember i set some two days as my holidays and that is 12 and 25th for these two days, my customers won't be able to select them as their delivery dates. So I'll go ahead and choose 5th as my delivery date. And then the delivery time, I choose between 11.30 a.m. and 12 p.m. Then I go ahead and place the order. Thank you, your order has been received. Going down, in here you see the delivery dates as well as the delivery time. Perfect. So as a store owner, I'll make the delivery based on this date and within this particular time. It should be noted that you'll be able to see the delivery date and time when you go to WooCommerce orders. So if I go to the back end of my website as the store manager, I go over to WooCommerce, then I click on orders. This is the current order which was placed on my website. You see that it's still processing and the delivery date is July 5th, 2022. And delivery time is between 11.30 a.m. and 12 p.m. Perfect. If I click on the client's name, I'll also have access to the same information. If for any reason I cannot meet this delivery date and time, I can come in here and change the date, maybe from 5th to 7th. And then I can also change the time between 10 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. Then I go ahead and update this. And the customer will be able to see this new delivery date and time awesome so that's it on how to add delivery dates and time for woocommerce all right guys i hope you found value in today's video if you did 
kindly hit the like button subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that each time i post a new video on this channel you will be the first to know keep watching and i will see you in the next one